Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to set up and use the Scarlett Wireless Anemometer, the ICWR3. To get started, assemble the anemometer. The wind cup simply click into place. The battery is pre-installed into the sensor. The battery in the sensor is exceptionally long lasting. However, when LB starts appearing on the sensor screen, it will need to be replaced. Then insert the batteries into the console. Slide off the rear battery cover on the receiving console and insert two AA batteries. Replace the cover and press the right light power button to turn on. Within seconds, the sensor has connected. The sensor will be automatically switched on when the anemometer cups revolve and will switch off six hours after the anemometer cups stop revolving. The temperature sensor is located within the anemometer sensor. It can take up to 30 minutes for the temperature sensor to record the surrounding air temperature. Temperature measurement is displayed, and along with the wind speed, it is used for wind chill calculation. By pressing the left F button, you can select between four different display modes. The top half of the screen will display wind speed, and pressing F adjusts the bottom half. Mode 1, this is the current screen, is temperature. Mode 2, CH, is wind chill. CH and the wind chill reading will alternate. Mode 3 is maximum wind speed. Wind power on. This can be reset by pressing the left button for two seconds while in this mode. And mode four is average speed or current speed depending on the setting. On this unit, you can also adjust the settings. Enter the settings menu by pressing left F button for four seconds. The menus will start appearing on the screen. To adjust any of the options, release the F button and press the left and right buttons to select the desired unit. When selected, press no buttons for five seconds and the unit will return to the main measurement screen. Menu one is alarm limit setting. Set your desired limit. When it is exceeded, high will blink on the display. Menu two, this is averaging period. Available averaging period options are 10 seconds, 30 seconds, two minutes, and five minutes. Menu three is sensor address. Here you can set the address to correspond to the sensor you wish to read. The address of the sensor is marked on the sensor and inside the battery compartment. Menu four is wind speed unit, select between meters per second, kilometers per hour, knots, and miles per hour. Menu five is temperature unit. You can select between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Once set up to your desired parameters, you can easily take current, average, and maximum wind speed, temperature, and wind chill measurements. For more information or to speak to an instrument choice scientist about the ICWR3 wireless anemometer, see the links in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.